Here now, David Harsani, National Review senior writer. I read your piece yesterday. And as soon as it went up, David, what do you make of what Whoopi said and what she continues to say? I still don't think that she gets it. I mean, I, and, and the main problem here is not that I think she's anti-Semitic or anything like that. It's that she can only see the world through the prism of these progressive grievances that we're always talking about in this country. And it's impossible for her to, to, to contextualize history and understand how the world was there for Jewish people and how dangerous it was. And frankly, it kind of diminishes what the Holocaust was about, um, whether she's, you know, ending it with a, her apology with a laugh or not. And, uh, you know, so it's kind of important. And I, as you pointed out in your piece that Anna Navarro, her another panelist, chimed in and said that the Holocaust was actually about white supremacy. As you pointed out, that is a, those are, that's a catch phrase uh, to label people and shut them up. And, it, and it's interesting because it's used so often to smear conservatives, you know, right. white supremacy, that it's lost its meaning. Um, but furthermore, obviously, the Nazis uh, thought of other white people in terms of vermin. I mean, they hated Jews, of course, but also Slavs and other people, gypsies. And it wasn't about being white or not white. And But, but it's impossible for them to speak in any different language than this progressive lingo that they constantly use. What is Disney going to do about this? Because there's an article reporting, exclusive reporting in the New York Post about, and you also write for the New York Post, I read your, your work there, that there are people calling for Whoopi Goldberg's firing at ABC. I'm not doing that. However, I'll note that Disney does have a very big problem because it's inconsistent on this kind of talk. Remember, uh, Gio Carano was fired from The Mandalorian, tweeting something, um, trying to equate what's happening today with what happened during the Holocaust, but she's a conservative. She got canned from The Mandalorian, but her uh, co-star, Pedro Pascal, tweeted something comparing the Nazi Germany and children in concentration camps to how America under Trump was treating children, uh, uh, illegal immigrant children. Well, he didn't lose his job. So again, even these big corporations, this has a, a business impact. They, they struggle to basically treat conservatives and liberals equally. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge double standard. We know that. I, I would make, you know, as, as a person who believes in free speech and defends free speech, yes. I think that we have to be careful not to demand people be fired for things they say, whether they're stupid or, or, or ugly or not. I don't want that. I don't want to live in a world like that. But they usually do, right? So they are fine with firing people. Right now, there's a, a brilliant man, Emilia Shapiro, who's, who's, who tweeted out something uh, about uh, about Biden's uh, perspective uh Supreme Court right. justice, and he, it was poorly worded, and now he's been suspended at Georgetown Law. So, like, this happens every day to conservatives uh, for, for far lesser infractions, but yet Whoopi Goldberg can laugh it off and everyone's, you know, pretty much fine with it. Um, so, but I don't think people should be fired. I think we should be working in the other other direction and trying to uh, have debates and discussions about these things. And, and to repeat what you said, that um, this is, it, to use your words back at you, that this is part of the inability to see history outside the prism of contemporary progressive grievances. But this is bigger because this will impact the way history is taught and the way past mistakes or past uh, atrocities are remembered. So this this goes much deeper um, um, in society today, and the uh, wiping away of history if it doesn't fit a, a current popular narrative from the left. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, when when people constantly call those they disagree with Nazis or make allusions to not Nazi imagery and constantly talk about the 30s and how it's coming here and all of that, all they do is diminish the real horrors of that time and and, and the history. And you know, you see um, you see polls that young people don't even really know much about the Holocaust at all. And uh, you know, all they know is to use it as a way to smear people. And that's part of the problem here as well. So. Uh, maybe people, maybe I doubt they will, but maybe this is a time to sort of reflect on the way we use that kind of language. But and, and it's just unfathomable to me that that this was uh, somehow a mistake by Whoopi Goldberg. And I, I don't want you to necessarily con comment on her intentions, but I, I can't believe that she that she really wouldn't understand 
that it that the Holocaust was that the Nazis considered the uh, Jewish people a race that must be wiped off the face of the earth. Uh, maybe you're maybe you're giving people too much credit. I don't know, but uh, I, I think that uh, I don't I can't bore into the soul of, of Whoopi right. Goldberg and know what she thinks. But I do think that there's a propensity especially on the left these days, to kind of try to think about everything in racial terms and then diminish any kind of other hatred into some other category. Like Anna Navarro was saying, oh, you know, this is white supremacy. Or Whoopi Goldberg said, this is just white people doing something horrible, uh, mm -hmm. inhumane to other white people. Well, that, that's diminishing what the Holocaust was about. It was about race because the Nazis right. thought it was about race, even though uh, there is no racial distinction there. And uh, so it was about race in their eyes. And they didn't view the world in the same way that Whoopi Goldberg does, or Anna Navarro, or anyone else uh, that's talking about that situation today in, in, in ways that, again, do not contextualize history properly. And the Democrats and liberals do have a modern history of certainly um, ignoring or trying to dismiss raging anti Semitism among some of their own. And I name Congresswoman uh, Ilan Omar, who you've written about, but the squad. I mean, some of the things that they've said, and the Nancy Pelosi just chooses to pretty much ignore it. Yeah, I mean, anti anti Zionism, as they phrase it, is mm -hmm. always is, is just type, a form of anti Semitism. If you want to deny a people a homeland where they can defend themselves, and you are uh, anti Jewish, and that that is, uh, and, and some of the language that they use is completely loaded, far worse than what Whoopi Goldberg said, because I feel like Whoopi Goldberg just doesn't understand history very well. I think they do. And uh, and they and they use that language on purpose. And many progressives who hate Israel have also uh, taken on this sort of anti-Semitic language. And the left does nothing about it. They pretend it doesn't exist. They defend these people. Yep. And and that's also a serious problem in this country. David Harsani, thank you so much. Terrific to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today.